Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today this is the finance quiz series and this is the video number three. And let's start. Today I'm going to do the chapter C A P N and let's start. So today uh, we are going to do the five questions from C A P M and and modern portfolio theory. So let's start. So before starting. Let me tell you about the RBA Grade B 2018 and 2019 course that we are you know, doing on bankexamstudy.com. In this course, we are providing daily video classes and we are covering 100% syllabus, including the phase one and phase two. We are providing the well-researched study material in the form of PDFs. We will get the proper test series and there is complete coverage and you can take a demo on learn.bankexamstudy.com or you can install the bank exams today mobile app so on your android application you can install our mobile application and you can take a demo so let's start first of all the simple formula that i have already told you in my previous video so this is the simple formula for the capm so here er is the expected return from a specific security let's say uh, expected return from a security let's say from reliance industry from tata or, or a individual security rf is a risk free return so this is the return that you will get without taking any risk for example uh, normally it's a government uh, security government bond one year government bond right so b is the beta i have already explained about beta in my previous classes so rm is the expected return expected market return right so what uh, does if you just uh, you know invest your money uh, let's say in uh, in an index fund let's say s p 500 then what sort of return you are going to get rm is a market return rf is again risk free return so you will be able to understand that uh, by you know solving the questions i have already done proper lectures on that in the course in the rb grid because you can check that so this is the question number one find the beta so you just need to put the values here okay so find the beta for the stock kbc given that the expected return on the stock is 13.45 and the expected return on the market portfolio is 16.2 and the risk free return is 7 percent i am repeating this question from the previous class i think but still solve it yourself so very simple student actually so 13.45 this is the formula right so in the exam obviously you don't need to write the formula again and again so 13.45 is equal to 7 is the risk free return plus uh there is 13 uh, beta is here uh, you need to find the beta 16.2 is the market return and then minus the risk free return so just find it out students what you are going to get take 7 there and you will get 6.45 is equal to 9.2 beta so the beta is 6.45 divided by 9.2 just do it yourself students uh, see uh, you don't need to do that proper calculation if the options are like 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.7 1.04 suppose you want to choose one of them just do a simple calculation what i am going to do is 97 the 63 exactly so i'm going to take this one that's it so this is an mcq paper try to do approximation right so this is the trick not a trick this is uh, that's what you should do in the during the exam because uh, there is always a, always a shortage of time right so that's what you should do so next question according to CAPM estimates what is the cost of equity for a firm with a beta of 1.5 when the risk free return is 6% and expected return from the market portfolio is 15% again this is not that difficult but just because I need to do it for you let's do it 6% is the risk free return plus beta let's do it like this beta is B we have, we have removed the percentages from everywhere beta uh beta is i think 1.5 then 15 percent is the market return and that uh, six percent is the risk free return okay let's do it uh six plus 1.5 the multiply by nine it becomes uh it's minus becomes 13.5 okay 
so it is 19.5 clear answer is a very simple i know that according to you these questions are really simple but you are going to find these kind of questions in the exam so if you think the previous question was easy it's your turn now solve it pause the video and so i'll try to solve the question yourself it's really easy but i see like a lot of question a lot of students <laughs> who won't be able to solve this simple question actually this is the simplest question so i request all of you to please try to solve this question i mean this is a trick question from my side so uh, the return on equity on equity uh, return on equity do investors seem to expect for a firm with a 55 uh, dollars per share dollar 55 per share and an expected dividend of dollar 5.5 beta is 0.9 constant growth rate is 0.5.5 percent now it's a trick question now let's do it the simple is like this one there is no use of beta there is no use of beta you can find the return on equity without using the beta so there is no point of using the beta here it's just 5.5 divided by 55 plus the 5.5 percent so it's simple 10 uh, plus 5.5 is equal to 15.5 percent and that is the answer is d so why this was a tricky question because i added the beta here beta 0.9 percent while the beta was not required i mean yes that that was a trick from my side i mean i see similar tricks in the exams they insert some you know information that is actually not required to solve the question so stick to the basics so let's do the another question uh, what proportion of a firm's uh, firm equity firm's equity is financed if the weighted yeah i know this question is not directly from capm but uh, this is actually i have already done the cost of capital in the course so why not to mix up the questions if the weighted average uh, weighted average cost of capital is 14 percent the before tax cost of debt is 10.77 percent the tax rate is 35 percent and then the required rate of return on equity is 18 percent then what proportion of you know capital should be from equity and what proportion of capital should be from debt try to solve this question yourself first of all uh, the b before tax uh, cost of debt is 10.77 percent and the tax rate is uh, 35 percent right so simply doing it so the actual cost is going to be like the final cost realizable cost is going to be simply it's going to be seven percent right simply it's not that difficult so this is the cost of debt the final cost of debt and the weighted co cost of uh, weighted average cost of capital is 14 percent cost of debt is seven percent and cost of equity is uh, 18 percent then see cost of equity is 18 percent cost of debt is uh, seven percent and you need it to be 14 percent so simply what you need to do 14 percent is equal to simply 1 minus x the 7 percent you can do it your way i hope you are able to understand the concept everybody is going to do the question by his, his or her own style so it's, it's your take right so i remove the percentages here from everywhere so it's it's actually really easy right i hope by now you are able, you should be able to solve the question yourself 18 percent is the cost of equity 7 percent is the cost of debt so solve it yourself and then 14 is equal to 7 minus 7 x plus 18 x so let's try to solve it yourself uh, let's go, let it be like this 7 is equal to 11 x and x is equal to 7 over 11 it's like 63.64 percent yeah this one is answer b is the answer okay very simple actually so find the required rate of return for equity investors of a firm with a beta of 1.3 when the risk free return is 5% and the market risk premium is 5% very easy but there is a little trick risk free return is 5% right the rf is 5% market risk premium is 5% so the ma expected market return is going to be 5% plus 5% is equal to 10% simple 
so now do it the risk free return 5% beta 1.3 the 10 is the market return 5 that was actually very simple this was the only trick the market risk premium is 5% so the expected market return is going to be 10% so 5% plus it's like very easy now i mean it's easy peasy 11.5% it's our answer a is the answer so uh, that's all for today students i hope you are able to understand all these five questions so in case you want to join my classes for the rbi grade b that are actually available on learn.bankexamstudy.com you can even install bank exams today's mobile application you will get our classes there you will get the video classes well researched study material test series and the rbi grade b gk dajas the envo subscription to rbi grade b gk dajas the dajas that we prepare every month in which we are you know analyzing the the <clears throat> the rbi circulars in which we analyze the government schemes international reports the current affairs very useful data actually so all these are actually part of the rbi grade b uh, 2018 and 2019 course you can join this course on bankexamstudy.com so before going uh, let me just request you to please uh, you know click the subscribe button it's very important for you actually for us also click the subscribe button and click the like button and press the bell icon so that you uh, you keep on getting the you know important videos and important updates regarding the rba grade b exam even the bank of india grade officer level exam from the bank exam today so that's all for today's students thank you and have a very nice day bye